I wanna start off this video by saying that I do not recommend doing this. This is bad for the environment. Uh, and so do not do what I'm about to tell you. But if you wanted to do a DPF delete, uh, what you'd have to do on this tractor, first of all, take this whole entire thing out. This is your DPF. Once you take it out, uh, undo all these bolts right here. Take out the um, honeycomb on this side. On the back end of it, it's permanently attached, so you kind of have to chisel it out. There's, I couldn't figure out how to get it out. So uh, the front one slides out, but the back one, you have to chisel out. And so you have to do that. So you undo those bolts, undo here, then reinstall it without that honeycomb filter. I put all the um, glow plugs or whatever they are in the back. I put those all back on too, just for the heck of it. So that's one thing you have to do. The next thing you have to do, is you are going to have to do a little bit of wire, uh, mess around with the wires. Uh, in this setup, you're gonna have basically three wires that come out of the fuel solenoid, which is back here. This one in the very back, I disconnected. I don't know why. Um, I was just told to do that. So this was disconnected. Um, on this one right here, you'll see I cut it on this side on the black and white wire side. And then I took the, the black wire and I just grounded it to the chassis. And then I took the, um, this goes to the key in the ignition. I'll show you that in just a second. And then the third one that actually goes up here, it's not in place anymore. That one is just left untouched. So undo this one in the back. It's hard to see, that would go back here. Cut this one and then leave this one untouched. So that wire goes all the way back. And I just tied it in to the on slot on the ignition. Lastly, um, I installed a throttle cable, so you have to manually throttle it now. So I took out the old throttle cable, as you can see it right there. I took it out and then I ran a throttle cable all the way. This thing typically has a plate on it. You got to take that plate off. And you have two screws right here that are your limit screws. This is your lower limit or your idle. So the further it goes this way to the right, the more it's going to um, have a lower idle. And then this one right here is your upper, upper idle limit right there. So make sure you set those things too. And that's basically it. Those are the three steps um, to get your tractor running if the DPF is too expensive and you don't want to deal with it.